repeat my uh, question. Uh, the media, uh, you know, especially the media that downplayed uh, and censored the whole Hunter Biden story is now trying to downplay your release. Um, obviously, because they are under fire as well, right? Because they have been exposed by this, uh, by this release. What do you want to say to them? What do you want to say to the media that is trying to turn this into a nothing burger? Well, they're trying to turn it into a nothing burger because they were complicit in deceiving the American public. Um, and so rather than admit that they, they lied to the public, they're trying to pretend that this is a nothing burger, obviously. To anyone looking at it, it's, that, that's clearly what happened. Um, so, yeah, I mean, shame on them. The important thing here is that you are basically exposing collusion between a political party And uh, in, in one uh, file that was released, it was even uh, called the Biden team contacting uh, Twitter. I mean, that is uh, election interference, isn't it? Yeah, it, yeah I mean, I, it, it, clearly, <laughs> if, if, if Twitter is doing one team's bidding before an election, shutting down dissenting voices um, on a pivotal election, that is the very definition of election interference. I mean, what the hell else would you, of course, it's like, yes. Um, you know, the, the, frankly, Twitter was acting like an arm of the Democratic National Committee. It was absurd. Well, and you know, that's fantastic that you're releasing that, but isn't Twitter just the tip of the iceberg? Can't we uh, admit now that this would have happened and all big tech companies that are, you know, are being used to stifle free speech and censor people and try to, uh, you know, destroy stories that are dangerous to their political goals? Yeah. No, I mean, the level of collusion is insane. Like, like, like Twitter is the one company that isn't, is, that is no longer colluding and is no longer uh, just going with the, the, the sort of NPC groupthink. Um, so, I don't know, you know, I should probably hi increase my security or something. Um, Absolutely. I mean, this is why I hate you so much. You know, what, I, what I find most interesting... What I find most interesting... something Just, just a second. That would have been my next uh, question, Ivan. How worried are you personally? I mean, you're putting a lot on the line, right? You have all these businesses going. Um, you know, you, you, are, you are out there fighting the good fight for free speech. Uh, but there's also certainly a concern on your mind about what the response to this is going to be. Do you feel threatened? Do you feel worried? Like, how do you feel personally about this? Yeah, and I'll add on to a question I asked as well, Elon. Like, what type of pressure uh, have you I'm, faced so far? Maybe I should be more worried than I am, but I don't know. I think generally the... If you, if you do right by the people, then you have the people on your side. Um, you, you know, could you could you shed some um, spill the beans on the whole uh, SBF finance and Twitter fundraise? Uh, I think there's not much in the not many beans to spill here. Um, the I had one conversation with SBF in May, where it was it was like half an hour. He was just talking like a mile a minute. Uh, I think he was clearly on some stimulants um and uh and he, he kept talking about himself uh and fdx and which is weird because the call was supposed to be about twitter um and i was like you know shouldn't you want to ask me some questions about twitter instead of talking about yourself um and, and my, the vibe i got there was like this is this is my bullshit meter like with redlining so i'm like uh But, I, but everyone kept saying, you know, Morgan Stanley and lots of other people kept saying, oh, SBF is the best and he's got tons of money. And so that's why I agreed to speak to him. But then I, my, like I said, he set up my bullshit meter and, which, which frankly, I don't think this was like deeply, deep, deep insight wasn't necessary. If, if, if someone's talk, calling you to talk about investing in, in a big transaction, they should be asking questions about the transaction, not talking about themselves and, in, and, and talking at the speed of an auctioneer. So that... <laughs> That's, you know, it didn't require deep insight to figure out that the, the bullshit factor is high.
question. I'm going to ask a question on Mario's behalf really quick since he's unable oh, yeah, to speak yeah. to Elon, which has to be extremely frustrating as the host. Um, he was just curious if you've faced any pressure so far since releasing the Twitter files. Um, I mean, I face pressure all the time, so it's kind of it would say like, what's the, what's the differential in pressure before and after? Because uh, I, I, but I'm not, <laughs> I, I haven't seen it yet. I don't know. I, maybe there's pressure, but I, I might just not be feeling it because I just, just every day is a high pressure situation. Um, but uh, I don't know. Well, like I said, we're, we're just gonna. Uh, you know, put, put all the information out there, try to get a clean slate, and then work iteratively in the future to provide the most truthful, accurate, and timely uh, information to the people. That will be the goal of, of Twitter. And, and we won't be perfect in that regard, but I think we will be iteratively better. Um, and and if, if, if that turns out, if we're successful in doing so, then I think Twitter will, will compete um, more effectively than any other source of information, and then more and more people will use Twitter, um, and and that and then that competitive pressure will force uh, other social media companies and, and 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 other media companies to also be more truthful because otherwise they will simply lose their readership, and that I think is an extremely powerful um, and and good vision of the future. In the Twitter, in the, you know the Twitter files, the things that you found. Did you find any relationship between Facebook and any other TikTok, whoever, whomever, with regards to what could be considered, you know, the collusion with with a certain um, political parties? Was it was it in other words, was there any collusion among other social media groups with Twitter? Um, I've not directly seen that. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but it, it, I've not seen it yet. Um, so, uh, in, in fact. Um, the, in, in terms of the, the Twitter files, I um, Matt, Matt TV's read way more than I have, like by, by a ton. Because um, my priority has been just getting Twitter healthy um, and fixing uh, Twitter engineering so that we can actually, uh, you know, uh, release features at a, high, at a at a high rate. So, uh, you know, that's been my priority on the Twitter front. Is is we've got to get get Twitter to be in a financially healthy place. Fix the engine of engineering, so we can uh, if, add add the features and capabilities that are that are that will make it much better, and improve transparency and trust and all that. So, uh, actually, don't even I, I don't most of the stuff I, I've read hardly any of the Twitter files. Uh, Matt TV has, um, and then Barry Barry Weiss is also getting access to it, so she'll read it too. Um, have you been in contact with any um, of the other social platforms, Meta, Google, etc.? Since the release of the files, has there been any pushback, any concerns, anything at all, or has it been pretty quiet? Uh, they haven't reached out to me, so uh, I'm not aware of any any uh, outreach from them. Um, so I, I guess, look, if if, if, if I think if, if this if it turns out there's like stuff that the public should know about, um, then we'll put it out there. Um, and uh, you know, I told Matt 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 uh, TV and very wise hey listen whatever you see if you think public should know about it you just post it if i could just ask a, ask a quick question on that uh, same topic because there was a point at which i was told by someone who apparently had access to this um discord server for these nato uh, or nafo trolls that i was among their top targets or even the number one target for a while so i'm just sort of a personal curiosity by the way this is uh, michael tracy um and <laughs> Um, and so, Elon, I'm just curious if you were able to detect or gauge any inauthentic activity on Twitter specifically related to this sort of pro-Ukraine faction, or, you know, is there, was there a particular sort of system that kind of connects those actors that you were able to discern since you've taken the helm? Um, well, the, the, the tools that Twitter currently has to detect uh, large-scale manipulation are, are quite weak and need to be strengthened considerably. Um, that's why, but in order for that for them to be strengthened, we must, uh, like I said, build the engine of engineering um, and 
to be able to sort of see what's going on in the system. It, it, I mean, over and over again, it's been, a, a, it's like Twitter doesn't know what's going on in Twitter. Uh, that, that's actually the issue. Um, so uh, we need to build the, the, the tools that can analyze what's going on and see where, where is there uh, evidence of large scale manipulation and uh, in order to, uh, to, to highlight it. And I think even if, if it's not shut down, if it is simply highlighted and said, wait a second, these, these accounts are all acting in concert. They're acting in a way that is faster than a human could possibly coordinate. Uh, this, the, the, this appears to be a linked, um, you know, 100,000 bots linked that are all acting in concert um, and, and just say, and, and, and uh, you know, expose them essentially. But, but, but those software tools need to be written, um, and they have not yet been written. So they, but they will be. It's oh, I, 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 hey, I have a really great suggestion for you, Elon. And, I'll let, and right after Kim, I'll let Tom jump in right after you. Just Tom, sorry for, for delaying it so much. Go ahead, Kim, sorry. Yeah, you know how foreign media is labeled on Twitter often as like Russian controlled, state controlled media. Why don't we do the same thing in the US with all of these <laughs> media organizations that, 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 that are telling us go to war? You know, oh, yeah. this is all great. Like, why don't we label them as well, US government uh, uh, state media? No, I, I think that's a good idea. Um, because, like, you know, it's like SBF gave so much money to different media organizations. That, and, and then they just write these puff pieces, and it's like, okay, we should be labeling that SBF affiliated media, because it is. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, like, if you're going to write a puff piece about someone who gave you a ton of money, then the, the public should know that you uh, maybe have a bias. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it should be, if 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 um, <laughs> if if, if uh, something is taking direction from the state, then that information should be made clear to the readers. Um, like, like who's really, who, who's really, ha who's the, who really has editorial control should be clear. Um, um, cause that, that's all part of like trying to give users of Twitter the most accurate and truthful understanding of what's going on and, and, and be able to calibrate what they read and see or hear on Twitter to be able to calibrate the, 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 the truthfulness as a function of where it is, where is it coming from, who is the author, who is controlling this from an editorial standpoint, um, and so then they, that you know they can apply reasonable judgment in that case. Yeah, right. no, I agree with you, and I think that would be a really good uh, thing to level the playing field because when you want to find out about what's going on in Ukraine, uh, and you get it from sources that are labeled in a certain way, and then the U.S. news sources are not labeled at all, um, you know, the 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 problem with that is that people think this source is trustworthy and this source is not trustworthy. So if Twitter has labels like this, then they need to be applied fairly, also against media that is clearly pro-war and clearly infiltrated 